Hi, how are you today? Jesus loves you. I found, um, last year, I found a letter that was from my, um, my father. And um, I never, um, I guess it was tucked away just for me to find later on in my lifetime. And I was very close to my father on this earth. Our souls were um, very connected. He was very loving, and he loved me unconditionally. And um, and I I knew what love was through him. Um, and when I was um, young, I went. My parents put us through. Um, I have five brothers and sisters, and we went through Catholic uh, school all of our life. But I wanted to read this letter, and, and Jesus, you know, we are learning from the Lord, and he wants me to read this letter to you first off, and then we're going to read out of the Bible. So I'm just going to be obedient to what he wants me to do today. So we're just going to learn as, um, as he shares with us. And this is the letter that I found. It says, Dear Wendy, and this is from my father. Dear Wendy, my earthly father, <laughs> that is, okay, um, dear Wendy, you're a sweetheart. Both mommy and myself believe this. Now, this um, letter was when I was about 15 or 16 years old, and it was when I was like a freshman in high school around that time. Your sweetheart, both mommy and myself believe this. You have it within yourself to be a wonderful person. Of course, I can't say from time to time you um, may make us mad, but I guess that's part of being Wendy. As you get older and your young um, and your young mind, inferring mind rests. A little you'll be good all the time I think being a volunteer candy striper shows that you do care about other people and this will build your character in, in a quote from the Wizard of Oz made by the wizard himself it's not how much you love others but how much others love you Wendy, we both love you, and good luck with your confirmation, and you are a sweetie. Love, Mommy and Daddy. The Lord wants me to read to you Matthew 25. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took of their oil and vessels with their lamps while the bridegroom tarried. They all slumbered and slept, and at midnight there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom comes. Go you out to meet him. Then all these virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give up your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so. Lest there be not enough for us and you, but go you rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgin saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man comes. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. 
And under one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one. To every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same, and made them other five talents. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained other two. But that, but that had received one, went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants comes and reckons with him. And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, you delivered unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, Well done, you good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will make you ruler of many things. Enter you into the joy of the Lord. He also, that had received two talents, came and said, Lord, you delivered unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents besides them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter you into the joy of the Lord. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I know that you are a hard man reaping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not strawed. And I was afraid and went and hid your talent in the earth. And there you have that is yours. His Lord answered and said unto him, You wicked and slothful servant. You know that I reap where I sow not and gathered where I have not. Strahd, you ought therefore to have given my money to the exchangers. And then of my coming, I would have received my own with usury. Take therefore the talent from him and give it unto him which has ten talents. For every one that has shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that has not shall be taken even that which he has. And cast you the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness where there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand and the goats on the left. Then shall the king... Say unto them on his right hand, Come, you blessed of my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me meat. I was thirsty and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger and you took me in, naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer saying, Lord, when saw we you hungry and fed you or thirsty and gave you a drink? When saw we you a stranger and took you in, or naked and clothed you? Or when saw you sick or in prison and came unto you? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily, I say unto you, 
in so much as you have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, you have done it unto me. Then shall you say, he say also unto them on the left hand, depart from me, you cursed into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry and you gave me no meat. I was thirsty and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger and you took me not in. I was naked and you clothed me not. And in prison and you visited me not. Then shall they also answered and saying, Lord, when saw we you hungry or a thirst or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison? And did not minister unto you? Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, Insomuch as you did it not to one of the least of these, you did it not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal.